If you looked at a map of Southern Colorado, it's pretty easy to find the San Luis Valley. It's an arrowhead shaped valley in the dead center of Southern Colorado, between the Sangre de Cristo Range on the east and the San Juan Mountains on the west, reaching down into New Mexico and ending in a point to the north at the watershed of the Arkansas River. It's the highest alpine valley in the continental United States. It's also the largest alpine valley. We are 150 miles long and 50 miles wide. The valley in size is equal to about the country of Israel, bigger than some of the states like Rhode Island or Connecticut. The San Luis Valley was the home of the Ute Indian tribe for centuries, if, if not millennia. Ute Indian people have used the valley as a place to live, a place to find game, to hunt, to fish, to gather resources that they need in order to survive in the Rocky Mountains. They were a nomadic people who uh, lived off the land. So they were eating whatever they could hunt and whatever they could gather, buffalo and deer and rabbits and whatever berries and fruits that were in the area at the time. The oldest evidence of human habitation goes back more than 11,000 years. Folsom points were discovered by the Great Sand Dunes National Park. It is considered sacred ground for the Native American. Mount Blanca it is one of the four sacred mountains for the Navajo. The Hopi, their creation where they came up out of the middle of the earth was near what we know as the San Luis Lakes. So the, the valley has always been a, an area where people came to hunt, mostly. Uh, it was well known for antelope, deer, elk, buffalo. The winters were always too harsh for anybody during those times to stay for very long. The first people that came through were the Spanish. Francisco de Coronado and his band of soldiers got here on or about August the 25th, 1542. That's the feast of St. Louis, the King of France. And that's where the name comes from, San Luis, San Luis Rey de Francia. And the valley took its name from there. And so after that, the place was known as El Valle de San Luis, even though there was no people here.